Hey, what's up everybody? It's your book commitments of patience, aka Ryan Trunky, back at again with a new video. So today I'll be doing the Son of the Void part 8. So yeah, let's get started. So the last time like I ended the video with the la like I told you to forget about that part but if you don't remember so basically Izuku helped uh, Momo's father in a good way he made his uh, like strength he improved his strength and made the thing longer so yeah and the day ended with like everybody sleeping so the next day so Izuku woke up with Momoka like as always cuddling and he remembered that Aizawa invited him to UA to uh, like and offer him a kind of job to work as an assistant for him. So Momo and Izuku so woke up, they did their usual daily basic thing, washing their faces, taking a shower, brushing their teeth and eating food and you know most simple things. So when they started eating food, they started talking to each other. When Izuku looked at uh, like uh, Chikishi, Chikishi looked at Izuku with a smile, and Izuku like knew what happened, and he like like gave him a wink, so, like he understood what he was referring to. So uh, let's say like Izuku and Momo and the family were talking about the job that Izuku got and how he will be working izuku said that i don't know how but i will see when i like when we get there and yeah so after 30 minutes of eating and talking to each other izuku and momo left while izuku was driving and momo's like sitting in his motorcycle so it took around 20 minutes to arrive when they arrived momo uh, saw aizawa uh, like waiting outside and when Aizawa looked at them, then Aizawa said, uh, Young Yuruzu, go to the class. I need to talk with uh, Mr. Izuku and need him to talk with the principal. So with that, like Aizawa gave uh, the card to, oh, well, like the, uh, so he can enter UA without the uh, door closing. So they went to uh, straight to uh, like Nezu's office. When they got there, uh, uh, Aizawa knocked in and they uh, like could hear someone say come in when they entered the uh, like Izuku saw this kind of bear dog mouse thing look at in here and said so you must be principal Nuzu Nizus it's nice to meet you then Nizu said nice to meet you too so Aizawa this is the kid that you told me about that saved your life I know about the vigilante work, but shouldn't he be like captured? Then Aizawa said, "Trust me, Nizu. I know this kid. He have a lot of potential. He does. Uh, that he didn't want to become a hero for a lot of reason, and he might have seen a natural thing that you didn't see." So Nizu then said, "So Izuku, do you agree to work as an assistant for Aizawa?" Then. Izuku said, yeah, sure, why not? If I can help the next generation of heroes, then it might be good. Then, like, Nizu gives some schedule for Izuku to follow about the class, the type of classes that they have and stuff. They talked about a lot of stuff and before the, like, uh, Nizu want to dismiss Izuku and Azawa, Izuku uh, then said, if you don't mind me asking Nizu, Principal Nizu, you see, there is kind of a natural stuff that's happening around the world that you might don't know, and because of my power, there there might be sometimes will be invasions that will happen. Then Nizu like looked at Izuku with a word like like what, and he said like, what do you mean by an invasion? Then Izuku said, you might think me as a crazy crazy person, but trust me. When I say invasion, there 
I will tell you that there are some aliens and worst of them is war and let me tell you he cannot die I killed him so many times but he gets revived if you know this is true because like some of the mission that you see war there with a, a lot of people with him like fighting two boss at the same time or three so yeah and Nizu then said who's war war I don't know or heed of any villains name like that then you just then then uh, like Izuku said this is a alien villain he's kind of not hard guy but I can't beat him because I improved my skills so I won't have uh, like much trouble with him but there might be a lot of people that might work with him so if he decided to come here just to let you know don't let any hero get involved in that fight that's my fight you can deal with a villain's attacks in your here like bank robbery or stuff but if it's alien or supernatural thing it's for me do we, do we have a deal then nizu was thinking and said i don't have anything to lose then he shook his hand, like hand with izuku and left so well, Aizawa and Izuku were walking to the class until they got there so he entered first and like yelled at them like to shut it and keep it quiet so and he told them that there will be a new assistant that you work with him to improve the suit like your skills and stuff so I want you to meet the new assistant teacher for well uh, to help me please come in then Izuku entered like Bakugo his brother and Momo like he knew she was happy that he was there and Bakugo was kinda angry at him and like and his brother Rigashi was kinda you know speechless like like he said wait Izuku like he said that wait izuku is that you and then izuku said like looked at him and said oh rigishi it's been a long time huh so what have you been up to like rigishi couldn't reply anymore he saw he just stopped so and like bakugo starts screaming how the hell did you get in deku you're worthless quirkless you're nobody how did you even get here huh when like Bakugo tried to attack Izuku, Aizawa tried to like use his capture gear, but Izuku motioned for him to stop. So Izuku transformed into Rhino and punched Bakugo real hard. He kind of like Izuku, uh, not Izuku. Bakugo uh, like vomits some blood, and when he crossed and then like look at Bakugo and said, you know. Deku that you know you knew a long time ago he doesn't didn't even exist he don't exist this time he changed and become powerful i'm here only to help you improve your skills i don't care about your hero work or villain that you might attack you i'm only here to help aizawa so as kind of co-teacher you will listen to me as I will have the authority better, better than you. So sit down and don't let me use the full force to break your bones and repair them and doing the same thing. At this like Bakugo kinda got scared from this kind of new Izuku and all the class was like afraid of him and like when he looked at Aizawa he transformed back and said like as i was said i like you kid we work better than we, we thought so uh like uh izuku was like uh, sitting near the window like looking at the sky the as i was teaching him, like basic stuff until like two hours passed like so the first hour as i watched of them i don't know like what he did to teach him so after that came um uh, prison mike taught him some english and the third hour came midnight to teach them like history and the fourth hour there came some practice to see how and like so izuku said to aizawa that he need to see 
how the uh, like the student's abilities so he can know the strength points or pros and cons so as i will meet these channels for every student or izuku like uh, gave an idea uh, so izuku can write in his like uh, book about the pros and cons so after let's say uh, 45 minutes of doing the same thing or practice uh, Izuku uh, gave uh, Aizawa uh, like the notebook and told him that he need to remember everything that he wrote when Aizawa looked at the notebook about like the analytic about the quirks he got shocked like so he decided uh, to ask Izuku if he could borrow it for the today and probably tomorrow give it to him then I uh, like Izuku said you can uh, like have it I don't need it so as I was said uh, so we need to go to Nizo I need to show him this then when they got there also uh, like Izuku was uh, like waiting until they heard like come in and stuff uh, as I was uh, like uh, got in with Izuku then Nizu said oh hello again Aizawa Izuku what do you need? Do you need any help? Then Aizawa then said, No, I came here to give you this. Can you give it a look? Then Nizu starts going through pages. Like, he was like impressed. Then he looked at Aizawa and then said, Who wrote this? Then Aizawa looked at Izuku and Nizu understood that like the analytic skill that Izuku's have is really great. And likely he was helping them in UA UA. He like Izuku was start thinking what happened if he joined the villain side that at that moment he got scared so uh, let's say so after he finished reading and like looked at Izuku then Izuku then uh, like Nizu said wow Izuku this is really great quality thing that I don't know what to say but thank god that you joined us then like Izuku didn't give him much and just struggled so with that, like Nizu was uh, like said to him, I'm gonna keep it for today and tomorrow I will give it to you, Aizawa. So with that, Izuku left and continued with the rest of the classes. And yeah, until like they got out when Izuku went with Momo, like grabbing hands, going to their motorcycle to drive away. Rigishi ran to them and like Rigishi is like said, Izuku, please wait, I need to talk to you. Then Izuku looked at Rigishi with a blank face, like emotionless face that didn't give anything to him. Then Rigishi like bowed to Izuku and said, I'm sorry I didn't do anything for the thing that happened. I'm sorry I could not stop my parents. I hope you can forget me. I don't know if you can forget my parents, but please forgive me. I will try my best to be the best pro brother that you will ever have. I will do anything for you. Izuku at first was hesitant, but he looked at Momo and like Momo gave him a nod and Izuku like grabbed uh, Rigishi by his shoulder when like Rigishi stopped bowing and looked at Izuku. He was kind of scared. He thought that Izuku would beat him, but Izuku gave him a hug and said, don't worry, brother, I forgive you. And if you need anything, just come to me uh, like you know where i live now i live with momo so yeah so Rigishi was happy and started tearing up he hugged his brother tightly and he, like after five minutes like izuku uh, like departed with his brother and said i will meet you soon so Rigishi was happy and decided to leave with a smile on his face Izuko was kind of happy also too, so with that, he looked at Momo and said, so let's go home. We need to go and we need to work on your homework, so yeah. With that, they left and got home and did their usual thing with that, the night ended. So I hope you like this uh, episode. I, uh, I know that I was stuttering a lot. I'm sorry. So yeah, I hope you're spending great time with your most precious people. Stay home, stay safe and wash your hands. As I always say, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, press the notification bell. See you in the next video.
Peace out. Bye-bye.